On this page, we're going to take a look at, start taking a look at a few proofs using the dot product. And so we're going to prove that first one from the uh, earlier page, that uh, a dot b is equal to b dot a, the commutative law. And from the dot, and I'm actually going to do two different proofs of this, so one with each of the versions of the dot product formula. From the definition of the dot product, a dot b equals magnitude of a times magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle. Since the magnitude of A and magnitude of B are just real numbers that are multiplied together, we can change their order. So magnitude of A times magnitude of B is the same as the magnitude of B times the magnitude of A. So if we switch the order between them, then this changes into B dot A, and so A dot B is equal to B dot A. They are equal simply because we can change the order of this product of these two real numbers. Using Cartesian vectors, uh, a dot b is uh, a1 b1 plus a2 b2, product of two x components plus the product of two y components. And again, in each of these products, we're multiplying two real numbers together. And because in real numbers, the commutative law works, uh, 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3, for example, we can change a1 b1 into b1 times a1, and a2 b2 into b2 times a2, and so this is now, again, b dot a. So a dot b equals b dot a. Now, just to show you, uh, and this stands for Notabedian, it's Latin, it does not stand for New Brunswick. Notabedian, which means take note, this is not a proof. All this is, is an example. Let's say that you chose two specific vectors for a and b. Let's say you chose a to be 1, 5 and b to be negative 2, 4. And you calculate the dot product, so you went 1 times negative 2 plus 5 times 4. And so you got 18. And then you did them in the opposite order. B dot A would be uh, instead, uh, B dot A you would go negative 2 times 1 plus uh, 4 times 5, which again is uh, negative 2 plus 20 is 18. And then you concluded that they're the same. Well, those are the same, that's true. But this is only an example. It is only a proof for those two specific vectors. It is not a proof for all vectors. So this only proves this for two specific vectors. The problem with this kind of proof is that you cannot take every single possible vector that exists because there's an infinite number of them and show that a dot b always equals b dot a. This is a proof for any vector because of the fact that this works no matter what a and b are and this also works no matter what a and b are because we're using in general that it's vector a and vector b or the components are a1 a2 and b1 b2 another proof using cartesian vectors uh, we're going to prove the distributive law that a dot b plus c equals a dot b plus a dot c and we're going to do that using uh, cartesian vectors so i'm going to let a be a1 a2 b be b1 b2 and c is the vector c1 comma c2 and so we're going to calculate both of these just to demonstrate that they are the same and hence prove it that way. So substituting uh, in place of a and b and c their components. Now the brackets means that I would add these before I would take the dot product of that with the a vector. So we would go b1 plus c1 comma b2 plus c2. And so now we do the dot product. The a1 gets multiplied by this component. So it would be a1, b1, plus a1 times c1. And then you add to that the product of the a2 and this sum. So a2 times b2, plus a2 times c2. And so that's what a dot b plus c works out to be. Now, we want to show that it's equal to this quantity here. So that's what I have on, on the right side, the right side expressions here. So just substituting in place of a and b and c all the uh, components. Now, this says we would take this dot product and then this dot product and then add them. So we would go a1 times b1 plus a2 times b2 plus, that plus there, a1 times c1 plus a2 times c2. And notice that this is in a slightly different order, but it's exactly the same terms as are here. Uh, we could rewrite it, and the only thing we have to change is the first are the same, the last are the same. These are in the opposite order, that's all. So we get A1, C1 here. So this one I'll move here, and the A2, B2 is the third term, so I'll take my second term and move it third. I can just change the order quite easily. And so they are exactly the same. And so we can conclude then that a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c. So that's an algebraic proof using Cartesian vectors.